Now what we're going to do is the manipulative technique. So if we look at the anatomy here, uh, we can see that the fibula is posteriorly uh, set or located relative to the tibia. But as we've also discussed in a uh, pronated foot pattern, as we get the subtalar joint pronation and the internal, the medial rotation uh, of the leg, which would be in this direction here, that tends to force the fibula to shift anteriorly, and then the hamstrings and ITB will try to externally rotate or laterally rotate the tibia, and by pulling on those muscles, it tends to pull and shift the fibula in a posterior direction. So, uh, from a palpation perspective, and so we'll literally palpate by resting our hands on top of the fibula or uh, extend the fingers down relative to the table so you can get some reference point, see if one higher than the other. If one is higher, then we can mobilise, but we can also manipulate to correct that position. Uh, the key contact points here is to get the fibula in contact with your metacarpal joint. So it's literally the joint, your first knuckle joint. So we will place our hand against the fibula mm -hmm. and then simply using the lever of the leg to flex the knee and what you'll end up doing if you get in the right position is you'll end up literally catching the fibula on top of your metacarpal joint and then once all the tissue tension is taken up, a rapid manipulative force by flexing the knee. And because your knuckle is strong, the fibula will be shifted or translated anteriorly as a result of manipulation. So, get into position, take up the tension, and then flex, thrust, hold, release is the technique. This is what it feels like on the inside. So tuck in here, and I feel I'm getting my hand right up against the fibula, making sure the flesh is out of the way, and take up tension, and then press or release is the action.